Hello and welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachman. Right now we're joined by Doug Schoen, political analyst and Newsmax contributor. Doug, it's great talking with you. Thank you so much. All right, so I want to get your reaction uh, following this debate. One thing that I think stands out is the fact that Mitt Romney not only controlled uh, President Obama, but he also seemed to uh, control the moderator. Talk about uh, what you thought in, in the terms of how this debate was conducted. Look, this was a win for Mitt Romney. He controlled the dialogue. He controlled the debate. He controlled the argument. The president lost his focus midway through. He lost his specificity and precision, and it became a win the press, it became a win for Governor Romney. Governor Romney also several times pointed to trickle down policies uh, used by the by President Obama, kind of a, a reverse one. We're norm, used to hearing Democrats use that. Do you think that he was very effective in his ability to reach out to the middle class, something that he'd been yeah. uh, criticized for previously? I, I thought he was very effective on health care and the role of government. I thought he won the debate on those two issues. I thought the tax issue was largely a draw, and I thought that on the deficit, uh, President Obama had an effective uh, response. But bottom line, Governor Romney avoided being seen as an extremist. He made it clear that he would stand with the, the, the middle class and protect social programs. And in that way, I think he made a huge step forward. And in terms of the voting pool out there, we know that there is a very small number of undecided uh, of voters. H how big of an impact do you think this will have in, in terms of changing minds, making up people's minds? Where do you think it takes Governor Romney uh, moving forward in, in helping him close the gap that he might have, in, especially in some of these swing uh, states? I, I think the momentum in the last week or so has been with Governor Romney. I believe that tonight helped Governor Romney. I don't believe it's a knockout. I don't believe he closed the sale. But I think for the process of convincing the American people to believe he's qualified to be president and offering an alternative vision, he started a process that he needs to continue in the next two debates. And how does he continue that through the next two debates? And will anybody remember this performance? Uh, if it, Will they be overshadowed by the next two debates? Well, in 1984, Ronald Reagan lost the first debate and won the second debate. In 2012, the governor has to build on this success, become more specific about issues he didn't talk about, like jobs, like growing the economy, like how he's going to revitalize the American spirit, both domestically and internationally. That's what he's got to do. It's an open question whether he'll succeed. And, of course, the bar has been raised very high now based on this performance. Does he have, uh, is it difficult to live up to the expectations that he set in this debate? I think the expectations were low going in. He certainly exceeded them. David Axelrod, David Plouffe, even the president's own tweets and statements suggest that. The real question, as you say, is can he achieve a higher level of success, specificity, and vision in the next two debates? Well, we do have two debates to go, as you mentioned. We'll check back in with you following those two debates.